The purpose of this video is to introduce you to texture nodes in Blender 2.5 and to familiarize you with the new Blender 2.5 user interface, particularly the node editor. We are going to create a checkerboard, which you can customize to any colors for the squares without using any images. We'll create a checkerboard texture in the node editor built from Blender's 2.5 built-in checkerboard texture node. I used a mid-September 2009 pre-alpha build of Blender 2.5. When Blender 2.5 is officially released, it's not guaranteed that the checkerboard texture node or any other node that we use will still be there, but it's quite likely. In fact, it's more probable that there will be even more types of texture nodes available. By the way, this tutorial should work in Blender 2.4x as well because it contains these texture nodes and the checkerboard texture. By creating your own textures in this way, you should have fewer copyright problems than if you had started with a JPEG image or some other image you loaded from the web. In addition, this method is much more flexible. You can change the checkerboard colors any way you like by just adjusting the color sliders in the node editor. We'll start by loading up Blender 2.5 and deleting the default cube. Right click to highlight, press the X key and confirm the delete. We'll work in quad view. From the 3D view menu, select toggle quad view. Add a plane. That's shift A, add mesh plane. Position the camera so that it points directly down at the plane. Press Alt-R to clear the rotation of the camera. And from top view, move the camera so that it's positioned at the center of the plane. We're ready to create the checkerboard. Highlight the plane, which is where the checkerboard texture will be placed. Add a material to the plane by clicking on the Material button in the bottom right corner of the screen. Click on New. You don't need to set the color or anything else for the material because, as you will see shortly, the texture modes control everything. Switch to the node editor. There are a number of types of nodes you can create in the node editor. The checkerboard icon is the one to click for texture nodes. You can create all sorts of texture nodes beside checkerboards. It just so happens that we're making a checkerboard texture and the icon is a checkerboard. Make sure the cube icon, Make Texture Nodes from Object, is highlighted. Click the New button to create a new texture, then click the Use Nodes checkbox. The node editor has created two nodes for us. On the left is the checkerboard node with red and white squares. Blender has a built-in checkerboard node, which you can access from Add Patterns Checker. Its yellow color dot is connected to the yellow color dot on the output node. Press F12 to render. The result is a red and white checkerboard pattern. In Blender 2.5, texture nodes are used if they are defined by default. This is a good start, but we don't have the right number of squares, which should be 8x8. We have a 4x4 checkerboard. The solution, reduce the size to 0.25 and render again. Now we have an 8x8 red and white checkerboard. Nice going, but we're not finished. We're going to hook up two texture nodes to let us change the colors of the red and white squares. Position the checkerboard and the output nodes to the right to make room for two additional nodes. Go to the Add menu of the Nodes Editor, click Color, then Compose RGBA. Connect the yellow color dot of the Compose RGBA node to the yellow color 1 dot of the checkerboard node. On the output node, the red squares turn black. That's because the Compose RGBA node is now controlling what were formerly the red squares. And the RGB color settings for the RGBA node by default are set to all zeros, which makes it black. The connections show what is happening. The input color for the Compose RGBA settings are fed to the Color 1 setting for the checkerboard. Note that there is no color picker for the Color 1 in the checkerboard node anymore because the color settings for the checkerboard are connected to the Color 1 settings for the output node, which is the one that is rendered. 
Now add another Compose RGBA node on the left and connect it to the color 2 dot of the checkerboard node. Now the output is completely black. This makes sense, as we saw, because the Compose RGBA node color is black. So now all the squares are black, both color 1 and color 2. Now it's time to set the colors to whatever you like. Let's make our checkerboard blue and yellow. Simple enough. Set the top color to blue and the bottom to yellow. Yellow is the equivalent of red equals 1 and green equals 1. Incidentally, you can also control the alpha settings for transparency here as well. Press F12 to render. So now changing the colors on the checkerboard is as simple as changing the RGB sliders on the node editor. You can get additional effects by simply adding more nodes. To illustrate, go to the Add menu of the node editor and go to Add Color Invert. Connect the checkerboard yellow color dot to the Add Invert Node color dot in the left, on the left side. Then connect the Add Invert yellow color dot to the Output Node color dot. The result, the checkerboard colors are inverted. As you can see, in each node actually shows the result up to that point. I hope this shows you the power of texture nodes. We've really only scratched the surface. So happy blending and see you next time.